No intro, let's get right into it. This video is all about efficiency. In today's video, I wanted to provide some numbers on revenant rates after the recent changes and clear up some confusion I've been seeing floating around the RuneScape community. If you've clicked on this video, you already know the question I'll be answering. Is it worth it to kill revenants on task versus just killing them off task? And if you're looking for the short answer, well, it depends. In general, it's more efficient to spend the time hunting a revenant's task and killing them on task versus spending time off task just killing them. Let's look at some numbers to base this discussion off of. The first thing to consider is your block list and what Crystalia can assign you. After all, she is the Wilderness Slayer Master and is the only one that can assign you revenants. Her table has a total weighting of 196 according to the wiki. But what if I told you we could cut this by nearly 40% to a total weighting of just 118, drastically improving your chances to get a Revenant Slayer task? The first thing you need to do is turn off Boss Slayer. While you won't get the points back, it is well worth it. The next thing you need to do, if you have it turned on already, is disable the ability for her to assign you Dust Devils, Necreals, Abyssal Demons, and Jellies. Jagex was nice enough to allow us to toggle this on and off freely, so you won't be losing any points here. The final thing to do is turn off Avianzi's tasks. Yes, she can assign you Avianzi's in the Wilderness God Wars dungeon. Not fun. Again, you will not be refunded these points and you have to re-unlock the respective tasks in the future if you want to be assigned Avianzi's or bosses. Next, you will need to set up your block list. The highest weighted tasks from Crystalia, other than those already disabled or mentioned, are as follows. Greater Demons, Black Demons, Fire Giants, Hellhounds, Ice Warriors, and Magic Axes. With this block list, your total weighting goes all the way down to 118. Revenants have a respective weighting of 5, therefore your chance to get a task is about 4.2% per task assigned. Why does this matter? Well, in case you didn't know, you can actually Turial skip Wilderness tasks. If you get a task from Crystalia and it isn't Revenants, go see your old buddy Turial in Berthorp and ask him for an easier assignment. Note, this will reset your Wilderness Slayer task streak, but it is essentially a free skip. If you're looking for the most efficient way to complete a certain tutorial task, more information can be found in the Gear Discord, which will be linked in the description. It's worth noting that skipping Wilderness tasks in this manner will actually make your normal task streak go up. So if you're approaching a milestone task, consider getting it from Duradel, Steve, or Konar if you want to get Slayer points, since Turiel doesn't give any points for tasks. It is important to mention that once you do receive a Revenant's task, you should be bringing a Bracelet of Slaughter switch so you can further extend your tasks. They have a 25% chance of not making a kill count towards your Slayer task, which increases the average number of Revenants per task from 70 up to 87.5, which effectively makes your grind 25% faster. Now that you have an efficient block list, or have worked on your block list while hunting Revenant's task, let's look at the numbers. The biggest limiter on being able to answer a simple yes or no to our original question is actually how fast you can Turial skip, but I'll talk about that more in a second. To better understand how this affects the efficiency, let's look at an example. If I can complete 15 Turial tasks in an hour, that means every hour I have a 63% chance to get a Revenant's task. On average, it will take me 94 and a half minutes to get each Revenant's task. We have to factor this number into the calculations, otherwise our answer is inaccurate. On screen now is a chart with drop rates provided by Jagex for the chances at any wilderness weapon while not on task versus on task. From my prior experience, orcs are the most efficient revenant to kill if you are farming weapons, as they have moderately low hit points while maintaining a high drop chance. Let's be conservative and assume you can kill 150 orcs per hour. Going off the provided rates, you have a 1 in 3,227 chance to get a specific wilderness weapon. Since there are three weapons on the table, we can divide this number by three and get an overall chance of 1 in 1,076 to get any wilderness weapon from an orc on task. We can take this number, divide it by the pre-mentioned average revenants per task, and find out we need a total of 12.3, let's round up to 13, revenants tasks to hit the rate for any weapon on average. Multiply the 13 tasks needed, times the average rate of obtaining a task by 95.5 minutes, and then divide that number by 60 minutes to get the total amount of hours spent obtaining those 13 tasks for a total of 20.7 hours. Now, we can calculate how long it will take to actually kill the orcs to hit the rate by taking 1,076 divided by 150 per hour to get 7.1 hours. Add these numbers together and you get a grand total of 28.8 hours. Again, all these numbers are assuming you go on average for your average kills per hour and average time spent obtaining a revenant's task. 
we can compare this number to the off-task rate of 1 in 16,134, divided by 3 for the chance at any weapon, divided by 150 kills an hour, to obtain 35.8 hours spent killing orcs off-task to obtain any weapon. So even including the time spent obtaining tasks, assuming you don't go mega dry, and assuming you can maintain about 150 orc kills an hour, it's a total of 7 hours faster to hunt tasks and kill revenants on task. The difference between these two numbers only increases as you do more and more tutorial tasks per hour. In the description, I have included a link to a spreadsheet I made for these calculations so you can see what your expected hours are to obtain any weapon. To get the expected hours for a specific weapon, simply multiply your expected hours times 3. The only numbers you have to edit on the spreadsheet are your expected tutorial skips per hour and your expected revenant kills per hour. It's worth noting that the only numbers actually filled in on the chart are for orcs and knights. So if you wanted to play around and test other revenants, be sure you fill in the appropriate spot on the spreadsheet. Playing around with the spreadsheet allows us to find the break-even point of efficient versus non-efficient, which is heavily weighted towards your tutorial skips per hour, but also depends on how many monsters you can kill per hour. The break-even point is 10 or fewer skips per hour, assuming the prior numbers. If you can't maintain 10 skips per hour, it is more efficient to go kill revenants off tasks, as you will be spending more time skipping and killing rather than just killing. All these numbers are based off our prior calculations based on 150 orcs per hour and 15 serial tasks per hour. One last thing to note, your average kills per hour will affect your overall time to obtain a weapon, but since this number is the same on task versus off task, the major factor in efficiency is having the right block list and making sure you do at least 11 serial skips per hour. I hope this video helps answer your questions, and if you have any further questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and hope everyone has a fantastic day.